When you're running a Shopify B2B store, you may find yourself needing to provide custom pricing for certain customers. You can use the Shopify B2B catalogs feature to create these custom price lists for each of your customers. Let's review how you can set this up for your Shopify store. To start creating custom catalogs, you must first have companies in your store. If you don't know how to create companies, check out one of our other videos. Navigate to the products section of your Shopify admin and look for the catalog section. This is where you can create and edit your pricing catalogs. Click on the button to get started. When you create a catalog, you'll assign it to a specific company or a group of companies. You can decide to give them access to every product in your store, or you can select specific products. When you do this, the company will only have access to those products that you selected. Let's start with creating a specific one first. Now you can start configuring your catalog. The first thing you do is give it a title. The customers won't see this, but you can use it for your own reference. After you enter the name, you can see the company locations and the pricing settings. Within the pricing area, click on the Manage link to start selecting specific products, import a CSV, or export a CSV. We'll come back and do the CSVs later. For now, let's click on the products. You can now start assigning products to the catalog. You can search for products or click on View All to start selecting from the list. Use the checkboxes to assign a product to that catalog. Or use the search to find a specific product. For this catalog, we'll only include the t-shirt products. That means that the customers will only have access to those shirts that we've selected. When you've completed selecting the products, click Include. This will save the products to the catalog. You can quickly see which products are included in your catalog by using the buttons on the top. So now that you've selected the products, you need to decide what type of pricing adjustment you want to provide. You can choose to apply an increase or apply a decrease. Let's create a 20% discount. You'll see that the product prices have changed in real time. If you change this to 30%, you can preview the new pricing next to each item. So this is an easy way to apply a simple discount to all the products. But what if you need to create a fixed price for just a single item? You can simply change that item by entering a fixed price in the field next to that product. So let's navigate to one of our products. You can see the price that was created by the automatic discount. By clicking in the field and entering a new price, we're overriding the discount with a fixed price. So for this catalog, all products receive a 20% discount except for the one product that has a fixed price. You'll notice a couple extra fields here for quantity and volume pricing. We'll come back later and use these. For now, we're just creating a simple discount. So let's save this and come back and create another catalog. So far, we have the one catalog that contains specific products. Let's make another catalog that contains all the products. We click on Create and then choose All Products. For this one, we'll select to add new products automatically. It's an easy way to ensure that the catalog is always up to date. Just like before, we'll give the catalog a name and then click to manage the products. Since we chose the All Products option at the start, you can see that your entire catalog is already included in the list. Now you can just focus on creating the overall adjustment. Let's select 10% for the entire catalog. Like before, the products are updated in real time. You can preview the prices for each product. Clicking on any price lets you override it with a fixed discount. So let's save this and go back to our catalogs. So now we have two catalogs. One of them includes only the t-shirts and the other one includes all the products. You can see that the catalogs haven't yet been assigned to any locations, so let's do that next. You could accomplish this in two ways. First, by clicking on any catalog and using the location settings. This will bring up a list of your existing companies and their locations. You can simply select the ones you want to apply to the catalog. Or, you can assign the catalog directly to the company itself. If you navigate to your company's list, just click on the one you want to assign the catalog. You can then quickly assign the catalog using the selection menu on the right. You'll see Add Catalogs.
Clicking on this lets you choose the catalogs that you created in your system. We'll assign the t-shirt one to this particular company. Make your selection and hit save. After you make your selection, you can verify the catalog by seeing it displayed on the screen. So now let's go back to a different company and assign the other catalog. We'll repeat the same process by choosing the add catalog feature from the selection. We'll choose the other catalog for this company. And if we go back to our catalogs, you can verify the company locations by looking at the settings. So now we have the two basic catalogs assigned to two different companies. So who actually sees these discounts? You have to make sure that customers are assigned to each company. If we click on a company, we can see the list of their customers by selecting the View All link. Anyone in this list will receive the custom pricing when they log into the store. So let's try this out by going to the homepage of the store and logging in as one of these customers. The B2B catalogs requires the new customer login, so we provide our email address and put in the code. We now have access to the store. This user belongs to the t-shirt company, so you'll notice that they only have access to the specific products that we assign to the catalog. In this case, it's just the t-shirts. If we look at the t-shirt catalog, we can see that they're receiving a 20% discount on all of those products. If we look at this shirt, we can see that the same discount on the front is also shown in the catalog. You can confirm this discount by viewing the product itself. You can see that the B2C price is greater than the B2B price that your customer is getting. So now, let's log out of this customer and choose another customer from the other company. When we log in with this user, you'll see that they have access to the entire catalog. They can see every product in your store and they'll receive the special discount that you assign to them. If we look at that same shirt again, we'll see that this customer is receiving a different price than the other customer. We've created a special fixed discount for this shirt. So this catalog is providing a 10% discount for all the products and one has a special fixed discount. So this is great for creating basic discounts, but what if you want to do something fancier using quantity rules and volume pricing? So let's say we want to create more advanced pricing rules for one specific catalog. So let's go back to that now. Click on that catalog and then click Manage. For each of the products, you'll notice there's an option to create quantity rules and volume pricing. You can do this for any product in your list. Let's first start by adding a product to the cart and seeing what it looks like without any of these special rules. You'll see that the product shows in the cart and in the checkout with just the standard discount. Let's go back to manage the product and add a volume pricing discount. You can see from here that you can set two sets of rules. We'll focus on the volume pricing. You can add quantity breaks and assign the price for that volume. For example, if they buy two shirts, we'll change the price to $10 each. We've now created the first price break. So let's save this price break and see what it looks like on the front end of our store. Remember, when somebody buys the shirt, one is the regular price, but if they buy two, they get the discounted price of $10. Going back to the product in the front end of the store, you can see that the volume pricing now shows on the product page. The customer can see if they buy one, they get it at the regular price, but if they buy two, they get it at the special discounted price. So let's buy three shirts and see our discount. When we check out, we can see we're getting each one for $10. This is the volume break that we created in our discount. Let's click back in and create another breakpoint. So this time, if somebody buys three shirts, they get each one for $5. So now when we go back to the front end of the store, you can see the new volume pricing listed on the PDP. The pricing is also shown in the cart. Since we already had items in the cart, when we try to check out, we get an alert. This shows us that we've now reached the new pricing breakpoint, so we're getting each shirt for $5. Going back to our pricing catalog, let's apply a quantity rule to a different product. Click on one of the shirts and go to the quantity rules section. 
From here, you can see three boxes, increment, minimum, and maximum. Setting a minimum means the customer can't buy less than the amount entered, and they must buy the product in increments of one. And using the maximum sets the upper limit that they can purchase of this one product. So for us, we're saying they can buy a minimum of two, a maximum of 10, and they can purchase it in increments of one. So when we navigate to that product on the front end of our site, we can see the quantity rules displayed on the page. They have to buy a minimum of two and a maximum of 10. So as we increment and decrement, you'll see that we can't select below two and we can't select more than 10. And they have to purchase it in increments of one. The system is also smart enough to look at the cart and add that value to what's on the page. So for example, if you already have five in the cart and you go back to the product, you can't buy more than five because a maximum of 10 is allowed. So if we add five more to the cart, we've reached our maximum of 10 products. The same quantity rules are also applied on the cart page. They're not allowed to increment past 10 or below two. For our test, we applied each rule to two different products. You can, of course, combine the rules on one product. You can apply both quantity rules and volume pricing to the same product. So let's choose one of our products and add a volume pricing along with the quantity rules. We'll make those adjustments and hit save. Now, when we navigate back to the front end of the site and view that product, you'll see that both the volume pricing and the quantity rules are shown on the PDP. As the customer changes the quantity, you'll see the unit price changing based on the quantity rules and the volume pricing. Combining discounts with quantity breaks and volume pricing lets you create very specific discounts for all the different companies in your store. And of course, each pricing catalog is completely separate. You can create custom rules and volume pricing for each catalog. There's a lot of great discounts and rules that you can set for each catalog. It's easy to manage when you have a small number of products, but what happens when you have a lot? This is where you can import and export the CSV file to manage your catalog. The best way to start is by exporting an existing catalog to a CSV file. This exported file will serve as your base template. You can make changes and edits to this file and then re-upload it to the system. If we look at the file that we just received, we can see all of the products and settings from our existing catalog. You can set the quantity breaks and volume pricing from within this file. Simply enter the values into the columns next to each product. You can see the existing values that we created from within the editor. We'll change this one from 10.99 to 9.99. We save the CSV and then import it back into the catalog admin. When you import the file, you can see a preview before you complete the import. When the import is completed, you can click on the manage link to view the products. Any changes that you made in the CSV will immediately be reflected in the catalog. So now you can see how easy it is to create your own custom pricing catalogs for your Shopify store. And if you need help with your Shopify Plus store, contact us today.